guys and welcome to the fish room. I'm Rachel O'Leary and it is time for a species spotlight. Now this week I'm going to talk to you about my favorite little algae eating snail, the horned nerite. Now there are quite a few species of this snail. Most commonly what we see in the hobby is probably Clifon diadema or Clifon corona and they look really similar but there's probably six to eight various species that are collected. They come from all over the place. Uh, Bali, Indonesia, Thailand. They have a very wide distribution and the speciation probably depends on where they're collected. It can be really difficult to tell them apart. But the good news is they're gorgeous, they're hardy, they take a wide range of parameters and they are exceptional algae eaters. So let's take a look. Horned nerites are named because they have these visible thorny-like appendages that grow out of their shell. Now there's a lot of species as I mentioned and there's a great amount of variability between their color, patterning, and these thorns. But one thing stays the same about all of them. They are awesome algae eaters. I recommend no more than one per five gallon. Otherwise, they will eat all the algae and then starve. They're not the easiest of things to supplement, though you can sometimes get them to eat spirulina pellets, blanched vegetables, or some of the gelatinized diets. Now, I love these guys because they are really, really, really versatile. They can take a range of pH from 6 to 8. Harder water is generally better for the integrity of their shell, but their shells are so thick that while they are eroded in the softer water, it doesn't generally impact their actual health. Obviously, if you want them to stay beautiful, harder water is better. But what's really cool about these guys is that they can take a really wide range of temperature as well. In fact, they can take really warm temperatures, which is not the case with all species of nerite snail. These guys actually can do well up, at, up into the 80s, which means they're perfect to put in a discus tank with rams, high pan cistrus, or other warm water species. Now, a lot of the other nerite snails do not do well in those warm temperatures, so these are the ones that are great for those small warm tanks or large warm tanks. Similar to other nerite species, they have a face that isn't particularly visible. Their antenna are really short and very tiny, so they don't have that worm look that tends to attract fish to nip at them. This makes them especially versatile and makes them able to go in with fish that otherwise you wouldn't want to keep them with. Things like African cichlids or angels. Now of course you wouldn't want to keep these guys with anything like the Bosha loaches that eat snails, but they are probably the most versatile algae eater out there. Now they are sexual, meaning there are set sexes, but I don't know how to sex them. Um, and that while they will breed, they lay little sesame seed eggs that will not hatch in fresh water. So if you buy one snail, you only ever have one snail. Their life spans two to three years, but in all honesty, I have some that are over five years old. I think it really depends on the conditions you're keeping them, how well they're fed, and the size they are when you get them. I tend to get these guys in super tiny. Uh, as small as possible, usually around the diameter of a pea, since they don't breed, that way they last longer in your aquarium. The max size they get is about the diameter of a dime, about half an inch. Normally being on the, uh, some species being slightly smaller. But all in all, I think they're really gorgeous and just wonderful, wonderful, interesting addition to any aquarium. Thanks for watching. Let me know below if you have any comments, suggestions, or questions. As always, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. And make sure you stop by my Instagram, my Facebook, and my website, MsJinx.com, where you can find my upcoming speaking engagements, my current stock list, and information on all things nano.